Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Probably when you're on the road, sometimes you leave documents at home. You know, your word processing files, spreadsheets, presentations. Can't get to them very easily when you are nowhere near a computer. Unless, of course, you think of an iPhone or a mobile device as a computer, in which case you could use it in conjunction with Google Docs. Yeah, I discovered yesterday that going to docs.google.com and logging in to your Google Docs account will give you direct access to all your documents and spreadsheets and presentations. Well, they look wonderful on the iPhone, let me tell you, but I know that this should work as well on any kind of mobile device. Of course, it's kind of tough to beat the elegance of the uh, Safari interface on the iPhone or iPod Touch. At the top, you've got the ability to search your docs, uh, look at all the docs, the ones just created or owned by you, or the starred docs. Uh, you can star docs, uh, at least here on the iPhone. Uh, and then you can browse the ones that were done this month, this year, etc., 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 all the way through all your documents. So, if you have not considered signing up for a Google Docs account, if you have an iPhone or an iPod Touch or any kind of mobile device that you browse the web on, do it. Sign up and start putting your documents there. This is an absolute lifesaver. So instead of relying on documents sitting on one computer, even if you don't share those documents with anybody else, you know you can get to them on a mobile device. And I gotta tell you, they look almost better on the mobile device uh, than they do on the desktop. Now, you know, even though you can view the docs, you can't quite edit the docs, uh, at least on the iPhone, because it's probably not powerful enough, at least at this point in time. You can switch to the desktop version on the iPhone. I haven't necessarily done that, largely because anything that I need access to, I just want to view from a mobile device. I, I would never want to uh, actually create any kind of document or spreadsheet uh, from within a mobile device like this. I, I've tried that in the past, and ultimately I, I go back to using some kind of big keyboard. So uh, another uh, big thumbs up to Google Docs for doing this. Uh, and, and letting us get to our documents easily, creating an interface that looks wonderful on the uh, iPhone or the iPod Touch, I'd assume, at least with the Wi-Fi access. Thank you. This is awesome. This is great. I love it. I love it. I love it when you expect something to be there, and it's there. This totally makes using Google Docs, which is free, totally worth it. Uh, I can't wait to show Ponzi because she's running into the problem where she leaves documents at home all the time, and I keep telling her, upload them to Google Docs because then you know they're there no matter where you need to get to them. And if all you're doing is just viewing those docs and not editing them, there you go. Now, if anybody else has got any other Google Docs hints or tips or working with documents on the go, feel free to pass those tips along. My email address is chris at perillo.com. I always love those uh, time and life-saving tips. Well, I, okay, not exactly a lifesaver, but if it's, there's information sitting in there, then in some cases it may be a lifesaver. Someone could create a document, share it with my account, and then I could view it on here you know, without doing anything because it's my account. <laughs> You're welcome to stop by the chat room, where I'm usually not wearing a tie in front of the live video camera because I'm streaming my life online. The chat room is typically talking about tech, tips, tricks, software, hardware, internet services, you name it. We're having fun and we're waiting for you. We're live 24 hours a day at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.